Hey guys, last time we talked about natural point of aim. Well, we're gonna progress on that a little bit more. Now we're gonna include only, instead of one target, we're gonna include multiple target um, transition, multiple target engagement. Still utilizing natural point of aim. Um, things to, to do here is the same thing. Now that you're square, your hips, you have to be mobile now. Things are dynamic environment, things are changing as fast as they can. And like we said, speed and time is your friend in the real world. So the main things to remember here is that once you've engaged this guy, bop, bop, do whatever you gotta do as you back up to get two hands on that gun, all I'm doing now is pretty much assessing the entire area and once I see the next available threat or the next hierarchy of threats, I'll engage that by just rotating the top of my body, and rotating my shoulder towards that area. Again, we're still shooting instinctive shooting. We're not really looking for that perfect sight picture. We're just looking for that combat accuracy. Rounds downrange, center mass area, doesn't matter where it is. Rounds on him and not on us is, is a good day for us. So as soon as I see that, maybe fire one or two, and as quickly as I can, transition quickly, rotating my shoulder again to the next threat area. Once I do all that and engage, and I feel that whatever rounds I've engaged on them, it suffice, and it's, it's done, it's taken care of the situation, that's when I take a breather. That's when I relax, I reassess my situation, then I check my entire surrounding, everything around me, what's going on, and if I'm able to holster up, relax, or do whatever, call the cops, or anything like that. All right? So, hope you learned something today, and um, we'll see you on the next episode of Armscore Nation on the Range.